My name's Eldon, and this is my entrepreneurial marketing vlog. To define entrepreneurial marketing in one single way is very difficult, as everyone has completely different and varying views of how it's defined. As said by David Stokes 2000, entrepreneurial marketing is defined as successful entrepreneurs undertake marketing in conventional ways, focusing immensely on innovation and with less focus on the needs of a customer. The methodology of targeting a customer isn't through segmentation or positioning strategies, it's by targeting a customer through a bottom-up process of elimination and relies highly on interactive methods such as word-of-mouth communication. This definition is more suitable to a smaller business or business starting up. Contrasting to the view of David Stokes is the Ian Chaston definition of 2016 who said the behaviour shown by an individual or organisation which adopts role of constantly challenging the marketing norms in hope of creating new solutions. This definition emphasises the more commonly thought of trait in entrepreneurs of risk taking. The business in which I will be talking about today is a small family run pub called The Bank House, located at the edge of a small town called Pudzit. I will be discussing the key issues that the business has whilst operating within the micro and macro environments and what recommendations I can make to improve their entrepreneurial marketing activities. Micro environment defined by Yvonne Camp in 2016 as the immediate environment in the day to day life of a business. In regards to the bank house and the micro environment they work within, its main competitor is another small pub called Seven Steps. Seven Steps have a full cocktail menu with fully trained bartenders with mixology training. This is my competitor's unique selling point. Looking into this, the bank house following Porter's five forces, Seven Steps are acting as a substitute to my business as they are offering a new dining experience within the local community, giving them the competitive advantage. Identifying this, the bank house needs to create its own unique selling point in order to compete. This links to the core competencies model by finding a spot to where they can be unique. The macro environment is defined as by Kotler in 2008 as the largest social forces which affect the whole micro environment. So, to sum up, the external aspects that are completely out of the business's control. To apply the theory of pestle to the bank house, the social cultural change of the increased interest revolving around craft alcohol, illustrated by the Guardian's article titled Craft Beer Boom Pushes Number of UK Breweries Past 2000, emphasises the cultural change within the macro environment. The study done by Hacker Young expresses a growth of craft alcohol over the past five years rising to 64%. A legal aspect that needs to be abided by my business is the serving of alcohol to under 18s. This links to the bank house as it has affects and narrows who the business can market to. The bank house's marketing activities are mainly done through social media and more precisely Instagram. To differentiate themselves from competitors they have created a contest which involves the customer bringing their pet to have a photo taken with their doggy bar and posting the image on social media platforms with the hashtag bankhouse doggy bar in hope of winning a pet goodie bag. This links to the social aspect of pestle analysis. It's targeting the demographic of pet owners to come visit the establishment in hope of winning a prize and therefore generating a level of interest in visiting the bankhouse. This marketing strategy also links to the competencies model as they have found a spot in the market in which competitors are not offering. The ability to be able to bring their furry friends along to this family friendly pub is something that seven steps do not allow with their dining experience. Recommendation to their current marketing would be to target a larger demographic of families by introducing a family friendly quiz night. This would include questions for all ages and enhancing the family friendly feel in what they are already trying to portray about their business by not having a large focus on their range of alcohol compared to their competitors. This would link to the theory of a balanced scorecard. With the vision of being a family friendly pub at the very heart of the idea, branching off into the growth sector. By improving and innovating with new ideas such as a pub quiz, which should be advertised on their social media sites, would then start to generate an interest of customers new and old wanting to visit for the event. 
Alongside this, to appeal to the customers financially, you could also apply an offer towards their taking part within the pub quiz. All teams get a discount on their drinks for as long as the quiz is live. Thank you.